old outdoor deck boards be replaced with tile? Or can a whole new tile surface be created outdoors in any climate? The hosts of the DIY Network, Dean Marsuko and Derek Stearns, found out that it is possible to combine the unlikely world of wood and tile by using TI Pro Board as a structural underlayment. The host removed the existing deck surface and nails in the area where the TI Pro Board was to be installed. If it's an existing deck, it's a good idea to secure older joists with joist hangers. Spacing for the TI Pro Board is recommended to be 16 inch on center and your structure should have the proper slope for water drainage. Dean describes how the TI Pro Board makes it possible to install tile outside and Derek shows how to lay it out. It's lightweight, it's 6,000 PSI, these interlock, you screw them down, put on a scratch coat, and all you have to do is set tile. This composite board comes in 12 foot and 8 foot lengths. It's supposed to lay out so that it meets the middle of the joist if the joist is 16 inches on center. But look at this, that's not what I have. So I have to make a cut here. I'm going to mark this so that it ends up in the middle of the joist. Also, when you're laying these out dry, make sure that this lip here is facing you because the next piece snaps into it. Now this piece I'm going to lay out coming from the opposite direction because I want to stagger this joint. I don't want a continuous joint all the way down. Let's go down this end. Nope, it's not meeting the joist either. So I'm going to mark this, not a problem. Easy to cut. Wet saw, diamond blade, I'm going to repeat this all the way down. It's recommended that you use a wet saw to prevent any of the fiberglass particles from getting into the air. After the TI Pro board has been cut, Place it onto the deck, making sure to get the first board square. Secure the boards to the joist with the TI fasteners. Repeat the process using the interlocking clip on the end of the boards. In this way, each board will lock onto the previous one. The next step is to create the scratch coat that will fill in between the ribs of the TI Pro board. That's solid. This is strong material. I'm going to start mixing for our scratch coat. I'm using a 4 to 1 pre-mix mortar mix with a five gallon bucket. Start off with the water in the bucket. Now make sure you wear a mask. Pour in my four to one mix. Now I'm gonna use a paddle mixer. You don't want it too wet and you don't want it too dry. And that's like soup. Add more mixes needed. And be sure to hold the bucket tightly as you mix so it doesn't spin. Now, I think this mix here is perfect. To avoid getting boxed in, start in a corner and work out. Work the mortar evenly between the ribs of the TI Pro board and then screed the mortar, pulling firmly down. Mix and allow the mortar to dry according to the manufacturer's recommendations and cover it with plastic if it looks like rain. If your deck will require a waterproof membrane, consult the setting material manufacturer for their recommendations. The tile you use should be a commercial one with a coefficient of friction of 0.6 or more. Because this is an outdoor application, the tile also has to be porcelain, since porcelain will not absorb moisture. Clean up the base scratch coat of loose pieces to ensure a tight bond between surface and tile. Start with an area that you've determined to be square and mark out how your tile will be laid out. Mix a thin set that's been modified with latex polymers and start laying your tile as you normally would. After the thin set has been allowed to dry according to the manufacturer's recommendations, apply your grout. Follow the grout specs for mixing, drying time, and cleanup. After the grout has set, sit back and enjoy a low-maintenance tile deck that's as solid and durable as it is beautiful. <laughs>